Hey guys, Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to your boy, okay? Now, check this out. Daryl Morey, GM of the Houston Rockets, okay? Big old Texas. You know, they like everything big in Texas. So check this out. He was on a podcast and he said, I go to sleep every night worried that I didn't give James Harden enough help to win the championship. I'm I worried about that. All right? And my thoughts of this is that's kind of cool to have a GM that take care of take care of his superstar, worried about his superstar and try the best thing the best he could do to put a team around his star player. I mean, this guy really wants the Rockets to win. He has a passion for trying to bring a championship to Houston. I really admire that. And over the years, though, I won't, I won't be so hard on Daryl Morey because he gave James Harden a running mate, a superstar, to go along with him. And he still has one in Russell Westbrook. Okay, He's always done a good job of putting talent around James Harden. As a matter of fact, they pushed the Warriors to seven games, something that the Cavs couldn't even do. you know. And the Cavs went to the finals. So... You have to take your hat off to Daryl Morey, man. He's doing a good job as a GM. He has nothing to worry about. So he said that he thought he let James Harden down. I think it should be a, a little bit some of the burden on James Harden, too, because keep in mind, um, James Harden had several chances of winning and beating teams. You know, he just came up short, you know. And you could say he ran into historic teams like the Golden State Warriors, but it's a little different. When you have a fighting chance and you you taking teams to game sevens, you have more than enough chance. So the blame goes on you more than anything because you push a team to a game seven. Now, a more equal um, excuse would be, okay, Jordan went against the 86 Celtics, right? He had no chance of beating that team. It's not like he pushed that, that team to five games and it came down to one play and he choked, okay? You know off the gate that... The Bulls were never good enough to beat the Boston Celtics. But here's one difference. Jordan always made his presence known. In that game against the um, Boston Celtics in 1986, he scored 63 points, 49 points. Okay, he had 40 plus points twice and a 63 point game. He was the best individual player on the floor. Okay, he made his presence known. And Larry Bird, all those guys know Jordan was coming. It's a little different. It's not like James Harden went out, you know, giving everybody the business and his team wasn't good enough. If you go to a game seven, your team is good enough to win. Okay? And he did it twice against Golden State and still couldn't come out on top. So that's on him. A majority of it is on him. Okay? So check this out. And I'm going to even give you more of a... Um, a majority of this being on James Harden. Check this out. 2015. This is in clutch games. When the game is on the line. Okay. Fourth quarter. All that good stuff. 2015 against Golden State. James Harden goes 2 for 11. 12 turnovers. What do you call that? All right. 2017 against San Antonio. 2 for 11. 6 turnovers. What do you call that? 2018. Against the Golden State Warriors, 2 for 13 from 3. What do you call that? 2019, 4 turnovers in the 4th quarter. What do you call that? Okay, I think you know what that word is. So he came up short, and it's not like he didn't have chances. If he went out in a blaze of glory and make it his presence known, it would have been a different story. Now, for a guy that we consider the greatest offensive player of this generation, along with Kevin Durant, and he put up these historic numbers in the regular season, he has to do something like that in the playoffs. You know, he can't have numbers like that in the fourth quarter in the playoffs. So, Daryl Morey, you have nothing to worry about. I would say it's 40% blame on you, but 60% blame on James Harden, because He's a superstar. You have it, have it, you can't have it both ways. When you lose, you have to take the blame. Because when you win, I know the superstars get a bulk of their attention and they get a bulk of the fame. You know? 
So it is what it is. They still have a chance to prove people wrong. And they still have a chance to make history. But you can't have numbers like that in the fourth quarter, dog. You got to show up. It's as simple as that. And you got to be the number one top dog on the court when it counts most. Peace. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. Have a good one. Keep it three thousand.